Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing. Uh, we're going to be doing another Positioning Basics video for you today. We'll be talking about how best to position someone so you can tattoo their throat. All right. All right, now that's over. The throat's a difficult one. It's kind of crazy, right? Because it's just all of the control blood-wise and stuff to the brain goes right through the front of that neck. And so when you have somebody sitting to do this, I mean, what we're trying to do is avoid putting a lot of pressure on their neck manually so we don't end up choking them out when we're working on it. So I've seen people tattoo throats in chairs. I can't recommend that. Um, it's one of those things, again, where your arms are gonna be up, you're gonna be hunched over if you're standing up. It's just not comfortable. So because it's not comfortable, I, I can't claim that it's sustainable, especially if you do it for 20 years, right? So the easiest way that I've found to do this over the years that I've been tattooing is, once again, massage table. It's a must have for everyone, right? We're gonna get a table. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can kind of play with it this time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our client, instead of sitting normally a little bit down and just kind of craning their neck, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna have them come down so that their head is just hanging off of this. Now, if you have an adjustable headrest for your massage table, that's fantastic because this will actually help with it. But what we'll do, even if you don't have it, is have them just kind of come up, sit by the top, right? Arms down, usually by their sides. And with their head leaning just off the edge of that, you get them just to slide just enough so that they're not uncomfortable, but that back of the table is actually gonna give them some support, right? Um, as they move further up, it'll slowly move their head further back, and as it moves further back, it'll stretch that skin more effectively. You want them to be able to breathe comfortably when you do this, not be sitting there trying to gasp for breaths, because, well, one, that's torture, and two, you're gonna have them moving quite a bit if they're trying to breathe and it's uncomfortable, right? Um, so yeah, this is it. When you're working on this, I mean, if you have a, an extendable headrest that's adjustable up and down in elevation, uh, it's simple. You just set it to a place where they feel comfortable to get support and it's, it's nothing, right? You're working on one side versus the other. You're going to position yourself on one side versus the other, right? Uh, and when you do that, you just have the person roll their head so that they're facing one way or the other, right? Either, either. It's really simple. Their head back, they just turn. That skin gets super tight. You don't have to work very hard to actually do a stretch, and you don't have to be pushing on them, cutting off the blood supply to their brain. Boy, I didn't say that almost right. Almost didn't say that right. I messed up the other one. Anyways, so that's it. Um, easiest way to do the throat. Um, I've seen other people, like if you don't have an adjustable headrest, maybe the person is a little bit larger and they can't get their head straight back, go grab one of those foam rollers again, uh, get a good cover for it, put it on top of it, and just stick it underneath their head at the back there, especially if they're like really wide. Um, you can just put it underneath their neck, right? Something that's thin, or if you have a thin pillow. I have a cradle pillow, which is just like a half circle one that's really long. Um, I'll take that, fold it in half, and put it underneath someone's neck so they can just sit further on the table and just kind of lean their head back and get a little bit of support. Um, if somebody's really thin and they don't feel comfortable doing this, you can do the same thing with one of these, like, I call them cradle pillows anyways, but these half circular pillows that are relatively long, by putting it underneath their shoulders, right? What you're gonna do is just basically elevate their body off of the table, and then if they're moving further back, which I mean, I could redraw this actually, <clears throat> so that when they're, boink, sitting on the table, boop, boop. We put it underneath their shoulders. We'll raise them up just enough so that their head can naturally fall onto the table and have some support. Uh, bad thing is, is that if they aren't, I mean, if they aren't like really aware and like comfortable with the positioning, if this is like one of their first tattoos versus someone who's extremely experienced, um, they're gonna get tired really quickly because they're gonna try to help and assist and do this rather than just trying to stay relatively relaxed and let you do your work. Um, so, you know, adjusting this back and forth what you can, that usually will help. And at the same time, taking breaks every 30 to 45 minutes. I mean, it's good for your eyes anyways, but it can also help the uh, person who is sitting to get the tattoo sit longer. What's that? Throat can be difficult, but just take it easy, you know, be as effective as possible and let the client do most of the stretching for you and it should go well. So that's it. This is Ryan for Better Tattoo and signing off.